Ah, so you've landed in Klesher Prison and you're thinking to yourself, what do I do with my life now? Do I call Chris Roberts on the phone and plead for him to let me out? I don't think it's going to work. Not to fear, there are several ways out of the prison and we'll cover them now. The first thing you need to do is press Y and get your butt out of bed. Oh my goodness, a level 5 crime stat! You've been busy. Let's head downstairs and check the terminal to see how much time you have on your sentence. Holy mother of Pete, 6 hours and 24 minutes. That's about the max sentence for a level 5 crime stat these days. Well, what are we gonna do? You need merits to escape, let's check. Nope, we have none. We're broke, we got none merits. If you got a friend in jail, they could send some to you. But they've got to be in jail. You cannot send merits outside of prison anymore. As of 316, we have a few options. We can run O2 repair missions, and we can check our mission log for those, but they may not show up if there are other prisoners around. We can also go down and mine some ore and hand that in to get some merits. The third option is that we can escape and have our friends pick us up or even make a getaway in an Ursa rover. Finally, the last option is to simply log out of the game and wait for the time to pass and come back another day. As luck would have it, an oxygen mission has popped up and we can take it. We can make up to 5,000 to 15,000 merits simply by going down one of the three routes and resetting an oxygen tank kiosk. Let's have a look where it is. We gotta go Route 2, Depth 9. Let's head down there. On the way down, we'll do some multitasking and look for the three hand mineables we can grab to reduce our sentence even more. The deeper you go, the better chance you have of finding the rare minerals, so it makes more sense to look as you get closer to the oxygen kiosk. Oxygen is limited, so we'll need to stop along the way to make sure we stay topped up. Press 4 to make sure your mining tool works. There it is, handily dandily. Right click. Alright. Let's holster that and let's head down into the mines. Along the way, you'll spot some commissary that take merits to purchase. We probably won't need these, just leave these aside for now. But hey, we're broke, we can't afford this anyway. Head into the mines and find Route 2. It should be right in the center to the right. Turn on your headlamp with T and check for some minerals along the way. Well, 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 look what we have here. This isn't the mother load, but it will serve as a good example on how to mine for hand mineables in prison. Take out your mining tool and right click and press the left click to turn on the laser. You'll use the scroll wheel up and down to control the power. You'll want to raise the white bar on the left until it gets into the green zone and keep it there until the rock cracks. You can move the laser off the rock quickly to reduce the heat and also feather the scroll wheel down and up as needed. We can see the green bar filling up when we're in the zone and once complete, the rock will crack. Alright, what a haul! Now tap F to pick up each rock. When complete, tap I and check for the rocks in your inventory. Now stay safe down there. We don't want to get shanked and lose our load. Let's continue on to the kiosk. Keep looking up for each level number sign and you'll know you're going the right way. Oh look, we've spotted a working oxygen kiosk. This isn't the one we need to repair, but let's take a pit stop and refill our oxygen tank.
And here we are, level 9. There's the broken oxygen kiosk. Once we repair it, we'll receive our merits. And then we can take some fresh oxygen for our tank and head back up. You may want to keep mining for ore down here as you head back up because you will need to mine quite a few nodes and ore repair a few oxygen tanks to get out. But we'll head back up and show you how to hand it. Look for the exit signs along the way to know you're headed in the right direction. On the way out, head to the stairs on the left, and you'll find the deposit terminals for the ore. If we check the Moby Glass, we can see we received 10,000 merits for doing the oxygen repair mission. Now let's hand in our ore and see how much more we get. Well, unfortunately, we only found some aphorite, so the reward isn't that great, but still, any merit is a good merit. Let's deposit and take our cut. Let's head back to the terminal and check our sentence length. And as luck would have it, we have enough merits to get out. Now we won't question the fact that it takes more than 10,540 merits to get past a six and a half hour prison sentence, but through the magic of the internet, we're free. Inmate processing, here we come. If you go through these doors and up the elevator, you'll return to your spawn location a free citizen. Now we're going to show you how to break out of prison. You should probably only do this if you have some friends coming to pick you up, but there is also a way to get into an Ursa rover and drive off into the sunset. However, they're not always there and a bounty hunter may kill you along the way anyway. Let's head back down towards the mines. Take a right here, hold F for interaction and scroll in with your mouse and check for the code. We'll need this to bypass the fan on cell block 1. Head back into the main prison to cell block 1 and spot the fan. Enter the code to disable the fan and head on through. You're going to want to turn on your light, so press T and mind your step. Take care with the jumps not to injure yourself too much, otherwise it'll affect your jumping ability and you'll have to die and start over. The blue plants are a good indication you're on the right path.
If you plan to try to drive off into the sunset in an Ursa, take down these codes. They're for the two vehicle garages outside and unlock the doors. Note that the codes are different each time. If you have friends coming to pick you up, stop here and don't go any further past this hole. Once you do, oxygen and temperature will become a factor, otherwise just sit here and wait for them. Your friends are going to need to know where Glesher is and they can find it on the moon of Aberdeen around Hurston. Your rescuers will need to head to the right tunnel and enter very carefully. The Klesher prison is hostile upon approaching and they may get blown out of the sky. Once inside the tunnel, they'll be safe from Klesher gunfire. Once they arrive, they'll need to put a ramp or something over the railing so you can jump on their ship and fly off to safety. Now, if you're still interested in driving off into the sunset in a Nursa rover, continue on down the steps. Take care jumping over the holes in the stairs. Now we need to jump on this box. And you made it! Let's head to the garage. We can see it off in the distance there. There's one beside the other tunnel as well, but we'll check this one first as it's closer. This one should take code number one. The panel can be a bit buggy. You may have to hit the check mark and enter the code a second time for it to work. Success! Now open the door and the ramp and let's get out of here. We've been robbed! There's no Ursa. Let's quickly go check the other garage. Well, it was a gamble, but neither Ursa paid off this time. That's all the ways I know how to escape Klesher Prison, legally or otherwise. If you have any other ways, let me know it down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.